Hi, this is Ashio. Welcome back to Spirit Ferrer. We are steadily making quite quite a lot of progress, actually. We want to go down here. Oh, a new lighthouse. But there's a, a guy we want to meet. Is it in Furagar, I think? However, I'm easily distracted. I want to check out this pier first. So, yeah, I think we're filling up nicely our little boat, actually. So let's shear this thing. And so we are... I don't know, we said goodbye to Gwen, and we, yeah, we are definitely building up new people. Have some, I don't know, raspberries? Sure. So, did we just come into a new place? Oh, hey, you're playing your tunes. H how are you doing? Do you know what my house needs? A desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. I know we don't have a lot of space on the boat. It's kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tools. It would be like I'm living a fantasy. I could work on my own projects, maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Aww. Yeah, what's the use, right? It's not like I'm ever going to see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know, what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. So, let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. Oh, wow. Yeah, so in the background, all these fun little adventures and stuff, there is the whole thing that all of these people have died. And yeah, they're kind of keeping, you know, coming to terms with it. Okay, so this is the Nord Sea Pier. I've got no idea what to make of this. This is the first time we've seen anything like this. Oh, is there a thing we can pull up? Give me this. Very good. There's like an old shoe in there. Okay. Um, I don't know. Celery. That's a new thing. And before we go on adventure, I just want to set off some quick bit of cooking. Have I run out of fish? Oh no, I've got some stuff. Got some lobsters and some carrots. Oh no, just lobsters will do. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Food is food is food. And let's check this place out. But I think after this, yeah, we're going to go and try and recruit another spirit. But that's in for in a minute. First, we want to find out what's going on here. Oh, madam, you've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice and I hate it. But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. Mm. What? You're not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been to Siegfeld? Nothing for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? Mm. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. However, if that's true, your pure undiscovered talent. Mm. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. Mm. It would be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? I mean, sure. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now, we just need to find your co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm, hmm, doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on the clothesline in summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy's off somewhere magical. We will need to find someone with gumption, gravitas. This is veteran Catherine who would work. Apparently she's been taken in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait a second. I just had another idea. We could also go the demure naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in the old central district. You could go meet her there. Oh yeah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. Okay, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. What? What was that? That's weird. All these places are also locked. Hmm. And there's a lighthouse here. Which we cannot go up. Hello. 
Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what was it? I'm the big fish man or something. He's loud. And it's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow, doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came with the early bird swimmer. Okay, give me that. All these places are locked. Oh, there's something down here though. Give me this. So, so far, we've discovered a little random mission. An old coin collection. Okay. Can we climb the lighthouse? That would be fun. Let's, let's have a look. Can we? Can we? Oh, there's a rope. No? It looks... Okay, yeah, yeah. We're on. We're on. There we go. And a ladder. You think there'd be maybe someone up here? No? Okay, jump, jump across. There we go. Locked. What is going on up here though? What is that? It's covered in darkness. Maybe if we have a certain power or ability, we can light that thing up? But for now, I don't think there's much else we can do. Oh, there's a drop. Okay, there's our boat. And I guess we need to call it a day and move on out somewhere else. Oh, we got a letter though. So what was that letter we just got? Oh, we can open the glim bottles as well. There we go. Greetings from Furugara. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors. You can now take a tour of the city. See the shops, visit the shrine, take in the sights. Available now in Furugara. Okay, something to do. Okay, so I guess we should definitely go upstairs, take a nap and try again in the morning. Here we go, let's, let's check our map. So that is fine. I don't know what these fishing spots are, but I'm going to leave that for now. Frogar, yeah. But maybe, maybe we should grab something on the way. Let's, let's check out some crates and we'll make the journey worth our while. Everybody up. Good morning. Let's have a hug. So, yeah, that was nice. So, hang on. Yeah, Alice, so we don't like what she doesn't like. We haven't figured out any of her favourite foods yet, so let's try something else. How about... Hmm, old-fashioned shellfish stew. Oh, this is delicious. There's nothing more reassuring than a good old-fashioned dish like this. I love it. Thanks. Okay, and you? I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But you know what I would go for? Fried chicken. Okay, that'd bring me back. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's kind of easy. Okay, we gotta find some chicken. We are almost there. Honestly, I'm a bit surprised. I thought it would have turned night and we'd have to try again another time. Oh, don't, don't let it break. Don't let it break. When it turns red, it's a bad sign. Oh no. Okay, reel it in. Oh god. Look. I know you don't want to get fished up, but I've got you. That is a cod. Okay, let's move on out. So yeah, this person was collecting woodblock prints, I think it was. And they've got some beef with a, a seal up north. So yeah, we're going to come back, give them a message, and hopefully that's what they want to hear. And with that, fingers crossed, they might even join us on the ship. But we don't know that yet. So where are we? Uh, no, not you someone a little bit further into town there you are back again would you look at that you got the piece oh Stella this is very good you've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag what ingenuity what spunk yes you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavors or should I say our endeavors well it's decided there is no pursuit left for me on this island therefore I will join your little expedition as a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, we got someone new on our boat. Oh, a visitor. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the world-renowned Furugara Tours. The tour will begin shortly. We got a letter about this, so we're going to take them up on it. it. Takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of the city. Mm -hmm. 
after you have so many anecdotes about the place. You'll be the life of the party if you ever attend one. Really? I mean, sure, let's do it. Let's start right away. To begin, a powerful symbol erected to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by the tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, past lovers. Legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter, as long as I can carry on doing these tours. Okay, I guess we'll carry on with the tour. But they don't like it when I get too close. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Run, 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 run. Show us what is new. Oh, since this is a vibrant city, we have a raccoon ink location. Considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares. It also, coincidentally, is the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a staple of a thriving economy. A fun little fact, anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to honour their founder. Truly, a sign of devotion. I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it's a small tidbit in your tour guide life. Okay. Um, I'll do some shopping in a minute. I'll come back. Go, go, go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. And that story mm -hmm. is... Um, give me a sec. I'm not sure, actually. Which is why it's so important. Mm -hmm. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. The moral being, of course. Always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. You don't know. Oh, that was that was quick. Okay. This concludes the tour. Furogara Tours is grateful for your participation. Thanks for your ears and patience. Thanks again. A gratuity is expected if you enjoyed the tour. 50 sounds fair. Take it. I knew you had an educational spirit. Thanks for believing in my teaching aptitudes. No problem. Uh, I've almost got enough. Maybe if I go onto the boat talk to our new passenger I'll get a new obol and I can learn to glide it's a thought any shopping I don't even know how much money I've got right now so let's do some shopping I've got 3,000 got rice seed leek apple linens not really a lot to buy why is apple so expensive hmm apples really expensive I think I will leave it at that That'll do. That'll do. Okay, let's head back to the boat, see who we've got. If they give us an obol, maybe we'll also get the new glide move. So it's just down here. And we'll see who our new guest is. So Gwen has left and summer is kind of overheating. We need to get some glass and then we can build a, an air conditioning unit for her. Then we've got the the hedgehog, the lion and the, the frog. I think that's everybody. Okay, let's go. So, who have we got? They always hang out at the end of the boat when there's a new person. Hello, hello. A marvellous venue. Uh -huh. Okay, alright, I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but, um, well, what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Oh, you're here, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyway? Okay, let's do it. Oh, like, like a bird of some sort. Become that flickering. That is some flashing lights. Uh -huh. Oh, I did it. And I didn't even faint. It actually feels okay. Uh -huh. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. Ah. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav, and I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling, but we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on the island, and I know that together we will accomplish great things. Uh -huh. This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly stellar, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. Uh -huh. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you'll help me. Oh, how grandiose it's going to be. Oh, but first, 
payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Okay, I've been given the obol, which means I can level up and learn the glide function. Okay, pull this up. Yeah. And let us plant. Oh no, more carrots, more carrots. Oh wow, but look at that. Look at that gamble, that is cool. We are getting all kinds of weird and fun people on our little boat. But I mustn't forget, I've got to go back onto that island and grab that obol. Here we go, let's try this. So, I need two, and I've got four, is that right? I don't know, let's just take it. This is a new power up. It should help us get around a little bit more easily. Nice work. So I guess you just hold the jump button and that's how you glide. Oh wow, yes. That works for me. So this will help us get around much more easily, right? This is what I'm hoping. Yeah, we can just skip everything now. Nice glide animation. That's it. Over the top. So this thing really looks like the guy who just joined us. Is he some kind of like a bird of prey of some sort? Like a kestrel or something? Oh look, the constellations. That is Gwen's at the top left. What is the thing beneath it though? Hmm. It was strange. We were confronted by some kind of owl of some sort. No real explanation. So I guess in due time we'll learn a little bit more about him. But okay. Let's rest up for another day. And I don't know where to go next. We're going to have to have a think. The new stuff this game's let us do, we've kind of burst through like ice flows. We can now crash through ice. So maybe we should check out that whole area. Maybe sweep our way across the north area of the map. And maybe loop back to the Albert the Shark. And we could upgrade our boat a little bit more. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, we'll have a, a, quick, a quick look around the boat. Or maybe we should set our course first. So we are here. We haven't been there. I'm guessing are the lighthouse is the edge of the map. Not really, but you can see the icy area. I think we should check out all of this area. I think that's what we need to do. So, we are currently here. Hmm. Don't know what these are yet, do we? The nebula stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll get the we'll get the bus. We've got to take a bus. What's up? Where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now, bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, like a sawmill? It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, wow, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one on board? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is, fully functioning foundry. You got quite a well furnished ship here, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work. You've built a mailbox already. Wow, fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are still left unchecked. I'll let you get to it then. Okay, I think we got all of that stuff, so that's good for us. Oh, what's up now? I'm sure you could find something nutritious for me. Oh, you, you want a hug as well? There we go. I do not mind a caring moment now and then. Okay, what do you want to eat? Thanks, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Okay, not, not the best, but it's still food. Food is food is food. Could kill up. That was a lot of whatever that is. I've got loads of that. Is it the boiler base? Is it? I am not good at understanding what that is. Okay, cook. Cook. But it feels like I'm neglecting someone. Probably Astrid. Also, our uncle is super hungry. So I need to feed him. Uh, what do you want? How about the crab I just made? Yeah. I think he's just a bit of a, a dumpster. You can just put whatever you want into him. Okay, so 
Are we traveling? Oh no, we just took our bus journey, didn't we? So let's head for let's head for these crates and see where we end up. So I I don't know. We can't have been left to it. We just need to explore and see what else we can find. Because sometimes you have like a, a set goal in mind, but we're kind of between missions at the minute. So we need to work out what to do. No, this thing is red hot. That's it. Go. But I think the main thing I need to do is find glass. And that will help me help Summer, who is struggling with the, the temperatures. Okay, wait. Wait. I don't know what the hell I'm fishing up, but this thing is work. This thing is so much work. Okay. Come on. There we go. Can we make it? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Go. And... Not yet. <laughs> Come on. Fishing shouldn't be this hard. But we're going for it now. We're going for it now. That was snow crab. Okay. I think we're almost there. Maybe I should try and do something with the ship. Can we build anything? Oh, what is that? An air draft. Finally, you can see the clouds. I need some nebula fabric. Whatever that might be. Okay. Uh, what else? A windmill I need. Uh, a field? An orchard I need. And oak and copper. Oh, sheep corral. I've got that as well. Not, not a lot for me to do. Hmm. This is the crate I needed though. So this is what we asked for. Good. Impervious to the cold, as ever. It's interesting. I'm, I'm really curious to find out what Stella's true role is. Because obviously she's the spirit fairer. But a lot of these people seem to have connections with our character. And it makes me wonder that maybe a lot of this journey could potentially be to do with Stella's passing. I'm not sure. It's just speculation on my part, but it's kind of how I think the story might go. Okay, have we unlocked anything? Should we just go over into the middle and just see what there is? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see something interesting. No idea. But we're adventurers. We need to adventure and discover new things. Alright, grab me this. And after this, I'll check the map again and see what else we found. So what, what do we want? We've got lots of mussels. I'll cook those. I'll just cook them as they are. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really about to find out. But I want to go around the top and maybe we'll duck back down to Albert and see what's going on. Olga? Who is that? Stop everything. Stop everything. Where'd that bus stop at? Bus. I want to see Olga. Who is that? Is that Astrid's friend? Looking at our missions. Astrid says a friend's waiting for us. Who knows what surprise awaits us? I've got a feeling that might be their person. Okay, reel that. That is a message in a bottle. Okay. Message. Help me. I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here is my location on the map. Okay. Oh. Have we reached our destination? Hello. You're, um... You're big. I'm guessing you're Olga? Hello. Um, Astrid. Can you help? She's here. I, I kind of noticed. Oh, there we are. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. She's always been a kind person. We go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you. Last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends by being honest. Mm -hmm. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So, canoe under the bridge, as they say. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead. I mean, sure. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga, you haven't changed a bit, old friend. You're still so green. Ooh. Astrid, my dear old Astrid. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. 
I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up. Mm -hmm. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irene is still focusing on her studies, and Masha has picked up a new hobby, knitting. She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid? Mm -hmm. Yes. You won't believe what I heard the other day? Mm -hmm. What's that? Miss Shrewsbury's pregnant. Again. Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Yeah. And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. Oh no. You're kidding me. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Oh well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni's back. And from a reliable source at that. Mm -hmm. Geo. Giovanni? Who told you that? Mm -hmm. Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you? Interested? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. I mean, no. I don't care what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check on my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case, you know. Now that you're travelling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. But there's um, no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, good dear. Could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help would be greatly appreciated. Oh, of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Mm, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My speciality is patience. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores and rocks in them, and then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface, and when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't it nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Okay, hop on my back. What are we doing? Um... Okay, so let's put in some limestone. Or some aluminium? Uh, okay, no, did yeah, we did put that in. Did we? What are we doing? This is weird. Okay, so that is in there, sure. Let's put in some, I don't know, um, iron ore. Just one at a time, okay? And in this one, we shall put, I don't know, limestone. Stella, what's up? Are you done? Uh, yes. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Don't worry. I'll re-emerge as soon as what you planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and your passengers. Bye now. See you soon. What is this whole thing about? This is weird. Okay, see ya. Bye. That was weird as hell. I don't know what to make of it. Thanks, Astrid. Now for the real work. Okay, we've got lots of missions. What a bust. Mm -hmm. She had a lot to say, didn't she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to somebody about this, but enough about her. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appreciated. Mm -hmm. There's always so much going on. I can't get enough of it. Also... What she said about Giovanni character, mm -hmm. well, you know what, never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about it later. I don't want to bore you with it now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. Okay, so what about here? Now for the real work. Now that our proprietary work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements but it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. Uh -huh. As well as a waiting area, a front desk, storage, maybe a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What, what, is that a bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these things are perfectly necessary. Uh -huh. 
Luckily, as a rational man, I realised that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then, grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it both houses works of art and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. As such, okay, he's just gonna talk our ear off about the finer arts. And that is one of the ways that the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, have you got all of that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you want me to repeat it? I mean, no, I'm good, thank you. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Okay. Oh, he's feeling down. What's up, man? No, wrong way, wrong way. What is going on? He's hungry. Okay, we don't know anything about this guy's tastes. Do you want... Uh, I don't know. I've got lots of this. Thanks, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. But, yeah, I think that that will probably do for this episode. We've got a new person on the ship. We've got a few more things to do. And that is it. This is show signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.